Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick recap of my thoughts on server-side rendering. I recently tried out two different server-side rendering starter kits for React. just wanted to kind of talk about my experience and what I liked about it, what I didn't like, and if I'm going to be using them in the future. So I started out with React QL because I really liked GraphQL. I'm big fan of it, and this was a specific starter kit for GraphQL and React. And then I tried out Next.js because this is server-side rendering in React. Next.js is a thing. It's a much bigger framework. Um, and it's getting a ton of hype right now. And I thought I would like this one a lot when I was first um, hearing about it, when I heard other people talking about it. And uh, there's a lot of good things it promises and a lot of good things it does. And server-side rendering if you don't know, uh, it's supposed to help with SEO and also with just the first time loading the page should be faster. So both those things are big advantages that are hyped about um, server-side rendering. Everyone's kind of on the hype train right now on it. And I thought I would probably jump on that hype train after I tried it. But it's actually not the case. Um, when I tried it, I actually didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So starting with React QL, I actually liked this one a little bit better. And it's probably because it's meant for GraphQL. And now I only, disclaimer, I only did GraphQL stuff with React. So I, I think I would like Next.js more if I was doing maybe some stuff with Redux and working with a regular REST API. But I was using GraphQL with it and I didn't like it that much. Uh, I liked React QL a little bit better than Next.js. Next.js I liked the least. And ReactQL was a little bit better, worked a little bit better with GraphQL and was a little bit easier to set up. But here are the things I didn't like about Next.js and honestly, same thing with ReactQL, right? They're both server-side ring that I didn't enjoy as much. And that was just that it was, things just didn't work out of the box. I think it requires a different mindset and I think that's fine. And I just think I don't like how you need to do server-side rendering. I might change my mind in the future and I might come back to server-side rendering and I probably will. But right now, I didn't like the way you have to like make your application to get server-side rendering to work because it runs on the server first and then gets run on the client. So you have to think about that. And things just don't work out of the box. You kind of have to make it work in that paradigm where it's running on the server first and then goes to the client. And things like you know, your header you need to make sure you put in every single page because each page is going to be um, loaded basically separately, right? Um, there's no state between pages and that's important. Um, so I didn't like that as much. Um, I think I would have liked Next.js more, like I said, if I was not doing GraphQL too. It did not, it was, I didn't like it too much with GraphQL because it, there's a, basically a whole extra big file that I had to grab from the Next.js people to actually even get GraphQL working. So, and I felt like a lot of things were like that, and so I didn't like that as much. So, if I was actually starting a production application today, what I would be using is Create React App. I, I like this one the best. Um, there's one thing I did actually really liked about ReactQL, which was, um, here, here's where they talk about all the things that they do, is annotations. Um, so the at sign that you can do, they're not showing it here, but uh, there's not annotations in Create React app yet. And so those are really nice with GraphQL um, and they reduce some boilerplate, so I really like that. But for all general purpose, I really like Create React app, which is not server-side rendered. And I, if I was building a production app today, which I actually am, um, so that will be coming out soon. I'll be talking about that more later. But this guy, I'm gonna, I am using, and I would use if I was creating more. But if I had to choose server-side rendering, I liked ReactQL better. But again, I'm biased because I really like GraphQL, and this one is basically built to use GraphQL, so it's hard to beat it. And I definitely don't think server-side rendering is bad, though. I I would recommend trying it out and see if you like it because there is a lot of perks to using server-side rendering, as I mentioned. So if you like it, definitely use it.
but for me, I'm going to be using Create React App in the future. So that's it, guys. Just want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.